first guest tonight has four NBA championship rings and is the only human visible from space. On October 2nd, he hosts the event, a large benefit concert starring Justin Bieber, Kelly Clarkson, Andrew Day, Imagine Dragons, and Snoop Doggy Dog at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada. Please welcome a man of many nicknames, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Am I crazy, or are your feet getting bigger? Just let, just let me take this in. Yeah, I, take it in. Oh, you haven't been in front of people in a yeah, while. Yeah, because I, I remember those sucky Zoom calls we had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, this, this is the real thing. We've got Thanks people. For All right, man. Do you miss that? you miss being in front of people? I miss you. I miss Guillermo. Guillermo. Right here. Oh, I didn't there see you. Yeah, yeah. man. I, I you yeah. literally missed yeah, him. Yeah, he was I right did. there. Yeah. I didn't see him the whole time. But no, yeah, I just missed it. You know, the interaction with people, and you know, I miss being here with you. You Thanks love for having being, me. You love people. I want. I just. I'm, I'm thinking about you and I were shooting something for one of your shows, and we went across the street to this hotel. And we walked in the hotel, and of course, people are like, oh my God, Shaq is in the hotel, and people were going crazy. They're like, what, what are you doing here? And you just told people in a very serious way, uh, I just bought the hotel. And <laughs> everyone believed it. Not for one second did they think of it. They're like, oh, go wonderful. Well, I'm the general manager. It's great to meet you. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, you have a great memory. <laughs> Do you follow uh, football? You watch NFL? Yeah. Who's your team? Oh, you already know who my team is. They're playing tonight. And I'll make you a bet. What's that? I'll let you make it up. Oh, any bet. Any bet. Any, any bet, bet you want. Any bet you okay. want. Okay. Um, I'm a I'll, Cowboys fan, by the way. I'll take... Um, yeah. All right. I'll take um, Tampa Bay plus 80 points. I get 80 points. Okay, so if the Cowboys lose, I have to do what? The Cowboys have to win by 81 points. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Okay. If, if the Cowboys lose tonight... The entrance to next time I go on the show, I'll walk down uh, two blocks, butt naked, before I come on the show. Well, well, that naked. sounds great. <laughs> but we also played one-on-one -on -one basketball once, and you told me that if I made any shots, you would come on the that. show naked, and I, I made a shot immediately. No, no you didn't. And I've, I've yet to see your penis. I don't remember that. <laughs> Did you play football at all? Did you ever yes. play organized? I played I play tight end. And then, oh, uh, my God. A guy a guy your size side swiped me one day and kind of messed my knee up. And then I started uh, playing basketball. My dad brought in an article. A player by the name of John Conkak. He was making $15 million for, for three years. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so after I saw that, I was like, I'll think That's I'll, all right, I'll, yeah. yeah. I think I'll start playing basketball. Oh, my God. <laughs> Imagine trying to tackle you. It would be insane. And also... Well, if you play quarterback, wouldn't you dominate the game? I, I don't know. I don't know what the tallest quarterback, who the tallest quarterback ever was, or how tall he was. But if you were at in the quarterback position, couldn't you hit anybody at any time? I probably could, but I, I like, I like hitting people in a physical way, like uh -huh. like, like tight end, like. Well, no, we can't do it now, but COVID. But I was going to try to make Guillermo tackle me, and I was going to run him over and show how I like to. Yeah, well, I think. Yeah. Come, on. Come on, right now. I think COVID, yeah, would, yeah. COVID <laughs> would be the least of his problems if that happened. Yeah. I like, you know, that, and, and, you know, I think that's why I was a pretty good uh, uh, basketball player, because I like football, and I like bringing the football f physicality to uh, uh, basketball. If you were on the offensive line or the defensive I mean, if you were on the defensive line, forget would, about it. Yes, I would try and kill you. I, and you would succeed, yes, absolutely. Would. Would. Yeah, yeah, it's probably for the best for everyone's <laughs> safety that you did not decide to play football. You, um, do you gamble on games? Do you bet? Mm, yes. A little bit? Yes. Uh-huh, okay. Money? A lot of money? Something like that. Like, because <laughs> you can't bet $100. You, it wouldn't, you wouldn't even think about it, right? You'd get nothing from that. That's a starting point. Uh -huh. That's a starting yeah, point. Yeah, so you would, a $100 bet would be something you would make. Sure. Easy. Yeah, okay. What's the most you've ever bet? 
One dollar? One million dollars? Really? One million dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> what sport was it? Uh, MMA. MMA, really? Yeah, yeah. And how did it go? Oh, I won. You won, of course. <laughs> Were you sweating it out? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I would think so, yeah. yeah Do you call the guy beforehand and go, hey, listen, I, I don't know what's going on in your life right now, but I just want to <laughs> check in because I'm going to be making a large wager on you? I think that's called point shaving. I think. Yeah, I don't think so. I think you can do that. Oh, you can do it in MMA. As long as you're not telling him to lose, I think oh, you can call him okay. as Shaquille yeah, O'Neal, professional that. athlete. Yeah, I don't know that. Say, yeah. like, how's, how's it going? You got the stomach flu? Anything <laughs> I need to know about? <laughs> um, are you dating? Are you uh, like on Tinder or anything like that? I heard you were on Tinder at one point. I signed up for Tinder. You did. Put in my name. Uh huh. And I tried to make a person meet me, and they didn't believe it was me. Nobody believed it was you. Yeah. Nobody believed it was me. I was like, it's me, it's Shaq. First. No, you're not. And you know what? You know what supposed to say? Shaq would never be on this. <laughs> so I had to hit delete. I had to delete my account. She was hot, too. I was like, I was like I'm five minutes. Just please just meet me at Starbucks and be like, no. You stranger have... danger, stranger danger, no. You have a, uh, a big birthday 50 coming up next, early next year. Are you planning a party already? Because I know you've had some incredible parties, and I wonder if there's a lot of pressure to come up with something great for 50. You know what's crazy about this question you just asked me? What? I forgot I was going to be 50 you next did? year. You did? I did. I like, yeah, it just hit me. Wow, have I been planning? No, but I'll probably, I'll probably do like a four-city tour. L.A., <laughs> Vegas, Miami, and Atlanta. OK. Yeah. Can I be in charge of one of those parties? Yeah, guess what? Since Vegas, you know, since we both have Vegas ties in be... Vegas, Vegas is all yours. That would, oh, good. For all real, yours. can I be well, in charge of that? Yeah, let's do I it. I would love to be in charge of that. Let's do it. That would be a great. Yeah. I'll make it the best one. Okay. In fact, it might be fun if we set up a competition. Like, you get three other friends to be in charge of your three other parties, and at the end, you decide which one was the most fun. <laughs> you like it? I do. I like that idea. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Really good. <laughs> you think I'm not going to work on this, but I 100% am. In fact, I'm going to have to take another couple months off the show, guys. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, Shaquille O'Neal is with us all night. His big charity event, the event, is October 2nd at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. We'll be right back with Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal plays a rapping genie who comes to the aid of a boy who needs a father figure in Kazam, a picture that wastes the comic talent geniality and charisma of the giant basketball star. I agree with you about uh, Kazam. It's a waste of time. Two thumbs down for the dumb and obvious Kazam with Shaquille O'Neal as a genie who is trapped not in a bottle, but in a brainless plot. Oh, my goodness. On, Shaquille O'Neal is here with us right now on celebrating the 20th, 25th anniversary of Kazam. Did you know it's the 25th anniversary of Kazam? I didn't know that either. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Then do you, like, are you ever going to make, like, a documentary about all this stuff that you've done in your life? I'm actually working on it now. Oh, you are? Yes. And I'm shooting a, I'm shooting a documentary with the great Peter Berg. It's a four-part series. Oh, Pete yeah. Berg is doing yeah, it with yeah, you. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I'm just going to talk about wow. it. Wow. Yeah. And did you let him have access to all your home movies and all the stuff you've shot yes. over the years? Yes, actually, yes. Did you shoot stuff when you were a kid? I actually did, yeah. You did? Yeah, I remember, I remember when I got the... Remember when they had the big yeah, the big video camera, yeah. So I used to always, you know, record over my dad's football games, and you know, he'd get upset. But yeah, I used to do that all the time. Wow! And are you giving Pete like full access, like yes, full, no full, punches full, pulled? Full access, uh, never seen before footage. So yeah, you know. Will you have um, footage from the tape, the shooting of the movie Kazam? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. <laughs> will you do the soundtrack for your own? Yes, I will. Documentary. Yes, yeah. I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Did you like Kazam? You could be honest. You're not going to You know, I don't, I don't even know if I saw it. I'll be honest with you. I, <laughs> I don't know. I think I was, I, I don't know. I was like 20 at that time, or <laughs> right. 25. When am I going to Kazam? Um, <laughs> but I'm sure it was wonderful. Uh, Shaq, <laughs> you bought Reebok. You and some business partners bought Reebok. And I remember, I used to work at this clothing store, and Reeboks were like 
kind of, they were like cheerleader sneakers at, for a while. And then when you signed with them, suddenly it was like, oh, these are like, you could play sports in these things. Not that I could, but that was the idea, you know? <laughs> and why did you go with Reebok in the first place when you originally signed with them instead of uh, Nike or Adidas or something like because that? Because Nike, they had like four or five people and it was always my dream to have a signature shoe. Uh -huh. So when I went to Reebok, they was going to give me a signature shoe because I already had my Shaq emblem. I already had all the commercials. I had everything done in my head on how I wanted to go. So when I went to Reebok, they said they were going to do it. But we promised Nike that, you know, we would, you know, listen to them. So I wore my Reebok jacket to the Nike meeting. <laughs> you, know, you know, they were really They didn't like that? No, no, they, no. they didn't like that. So I came back and I signed with, with Reebok. But, yeah, the partners that I'm with now are a company called Authentic Brands Group. Uh, the Salter family, Jamie and Corey, you know, we, we saw that, you know, Reebok was, you know, kind of kind of drifting away. So, you know, they, they, they fought long and hard for it, and now we own it, and, you know, we look to bring it back to prosperity. Will you bring back the Reebok pump? Yes, of, co of course. You have to bring yes, back the yes, pump. We will. We will. <laughs> A lot of retro Reeboks will come back. Tell me about this concert you're doing. First of all, it's to benefit the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, it's benefit the Boys and Girls Club uh, to also benefit underprivileged children. You know, when I was coming up, Boys and Girls Club was the place to go. You know, my uh, parents couldn't afford childcare, so they'd tell me to go across the street. So at the Boys and Girls Club is where I, I cultivated the character that the world knows as Shaq. Uh, I wasn't really good at school, so I'd go in a room and study. Uh, I can go in a, a music room and, you know, practice my raps. I can go to the gym and, you know, practice basketball. But this was the place where I was just sitting and dreaming about all the stuff that I would like to do when I, you know, become an adult. So we're just gonna, you know, do this benefit. Uh, you know, Snoop Dogg, uh, Kelly Clarkson, Justin Bieber, uh, Imagine Dragons, Audrey Day is gonna perform, and the money's gonna go to communities and school and Boys and Girls Club. Nice, that's great. Are you living in Las Vegas now? Yes, I live. I live. Uh, I live uh, right across the street from Wayne Newton. You do? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Do you ever see Wayne? No, I've never seen. You him. never see Wayne? Yeah. yeah. He's the Midnight Idol has not invited you over? No, I haven't seen him. He has a big gate and big trees, yeah. You know, they call him Mr. Las Vegas. No, you're Mr. Las Vegas. Well, it's funny, thank you, it's funny you say no, that. No, you are. Because I grew up in Las Vegas, and uh, in fact, when we were doing the show for a week in Las Vegas, we called Wayne and said, would you mind if Jimmy was Mr. Las Vegas for the week that he's there, he will be Mr. Las Vegas. You only have to give t title for one week. What do you think Wayne said? What did he say? He said no. <laughs> I couldn't even be Mr. Las Vegas for one week thanks to Wayne Newton. Let's throw eggs at his house or yeah, something. You want to well, do it? Let's do it. Yes. Some toilet paper, whatever, you know? That'll go so viral. <laughs> you want to do it? Let's do it. So you're kind of, in a lot of ways, I feel like you're like Paul Bunyan in that, not just size-wise, but in that there are legendary stories about you. Uh, that you read, that you hear, that are, some are true and some I'm sure are not true. But I have some of these stories, and when we come back, I want to go through them, uh, and you can tell me whether they are, I believe we've given this the title, Shaq or Bull Shaq, when we return <laughs> with Shaquille O'Neal. We'll be right back. If you score on me, I'll come on this show butt naked. How you doing, Jeff? And then we'll get out. Still fully clothed. <laughs> That's false footage. That didn't happen. That didn't You're happen. accusing me of deep faking yes, that basketball yes, shot. You did. You did. You We're did. back to Shaquille O'Neal. All right, it's time to play the game Shaq or Bull Shaq. You tell me if these legends are true or false. So, number one, you bought a house. You once bought a house because it was across the street from Paula Abdul's house. True. That is true. <laughs> so true. Like, I was. I was... Here in LA, I was looking. I didn't really like the house. Some guy was like, Paul Abdul lives across the street. I was like, who? Like, Paul Abdul. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to look inside? No, I'll take it. Did I'll you ever it. interact with Paula? Yes, we have the same uh, uh, business manager. She's a very nice lady. If I ever dated her or flirted with her, no. Nothing? No. You just moved right across the I street moved from right her. Across the street. <laughs> <laughs> and I would look, and every time she came outside, I would accidentally, you know, come outside. Oh, hey, Paula, how are you? <laughs> yeah, she's, just getting the mail. Yeah, yeah just getting the mail. That's you, a true story. True or false, you have a two-story closet. Yes. <laughs> so there's a staircase in your closet? Staircase in the closet that goes down to another bedroom. 
Wow. And what's in there? Clothes. Yeah. <laughs> What do you mean? Was close. Like, do you have things displayed? Do you have like the Kazam genie suit in I there? I actually do. You do? Is not, it on the not, wall? Not, not in this closet, but I do have the Kazam genie. Yeah, it's on the wall. It is. Yeah. You want to? You ever take it? it down? I'd love to put it on at some point. I really that would be the fun. All right, deal. <laughs> okay. Um, you once put a teammate when you're on the Phoenix Suns in a sleeper hold and rendered him unconscious shortly before a game. True. <laughs> So why, why did you do that? Because somebody <laughs> from his country was fighting a guy that I knew in MMA. He just kept talking, oh my God, my guy. I'm like, bro, we have a game. Relax. But he just kept, and then he got in my face, and then, you know, my reflex is just. <laughs> like, I, I didn't want to do it on purpose, but he came in my space, and then my reflex is just. Have you, know. you knocked a lot of people out with the sleeper hold? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you ever do it for fun? Yeah, I'll do it on Guillermo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah? No, no, Guillermo, I don't want you in the sleeper hole. All right. Okay. Yeah. All hey, right. You might not wake up. What am I going to do without you? <laughs> Boy, you know what? Dude, that's something that, um, yeah, I've experienced, and it's pretty crazy. Yeah, in fact, crazy. once Rowdy Roddy Piper came over to my house and put a friend of ours named David in the sleeper hole. It was spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In a fit of anger, you once pulled a urinal off the wall. Five. Five urinals? Yes. So you remember, you remember when I first got to LA in 96, we would always lose in the playoffs, but we'd always get swept. So this was the time where, you know, Shaq's a, he's a great player, but is he really a great player? He's not winning championships. I never thought we would win. So, you know, we were, every year we got better, Kobe and myself, but then when we come to the playoffs, we'd lose. So that one last time before we hit three in a row, I just went in the office and I just ripped five off the wall. And Jerry West came in and he told me a story I didn't know. He said, son, calm down. I went to the finals nine times before I went in with the Lakers. So I didn't feel as bad. I was like, so like I'm ripping a year off. And I was like, hold on, you, you went to the finals nine times and lost? So he said, calm down, you'll get it, you'll get it. So you know, after I had urine and stuff all over me, I was like, okay, you're right. Were you surprised you were able to pull the urinal no, off? I was, I was no. pissed. Yeah. I really was. <laughs> I was. You had the chance to sign NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys to a record contract, but didn't. I did. True That's story. true. Yes. How did that happen? Because they used to use my studio for $25 a day. In, in Orlando? Yes, Is this I had, one? A, I had this uh, state-of-the-art studio in my house, and they lived around the corner, and they said, hey, man, can we record your studio? And I only charge them $25, but, yep, I should have signed them up, but I didn't. Why didn't you sign them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You didn't look, But wait, who came first? The Backstreet Boys or in sync? I uh, say it was Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. Yeah. So the Backstreet Boys, you decided not to sign them. And then, then did they become successful? And then in sync came? And then you said, yeah, I'm not going to sign them either? No, like, no, like they all used to just come, you know, because like, they just used to call me and say, hey, can we use the studio? I'm just like, sure. They're just, you know, let them do it. But I should have signed them both up, but I didn't. Yeah, well, it's probably not too late. And every You're... time I hear that damn song, I was like, man, that could have been mine. Bye, <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye, bye. I'm like... Yeah, you could, you could probably buy, buy, buy another, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, another mansion with uh, money from that. Now, this, I, I, I hope it's true. You and your entire family have received haircuts while dining at a restaurant. No, that's not that's true. Not true? No. Oh. Who would do that? <laughs> I don't know. If anyone would do it, though, it would probably be no, you, right? I don't want to be eating in a restaurant and get hair follicles all in my food. It doesn't make a lot of sense, no, I would never but do that. you don't have a ton of hair, so maybe no, you just I'll, get a little no, shave. No, not true. Inspired by the Incredible Hulk, you destroyed a car by hand. Yes, I did. <laughs> What kind of vehicle was it? It was a, I remember it was, it was a beige Toyota Corolla. A beige Toyota? Was it yeah. yours? No, it was some, well, it was, it was some guys that got stolen, but it was just right there in front. So when I was doing it and the cops rolled by and saw me doing it, they thought I stole it. But luckily, the cops that rolled by were my uncles. So, <laughs> so they took me and they just sat me in jail for a day, a whole day, a whole night, and said, Hey, you have a decision to make. You can either start listening to us and go on the right way or go the wrong way. So 
After that day, I kind of, you know, chilled out. I mean, but that's a true story. This is when you're a kid, I assume. Yes, okay, yeah, yeah, because yeah. otherwise it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense that you stole a beige Toyota Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> or I really a beige it. car of any make and model. Right. <laughs> is I didn't it still at that day, but I, you know. Is it true that you have expressed the desire to date a woman named Shaquille? Yes. It is. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I've met a few. Is that so you could yell out your own name during sex? Why would you? <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right, one more. Um, Ooh, Shaquille. Is, um, Shaquille. Is it true that a Middle Eastern princess proposed marriage to yes. you? Yes. Really? Yeah. Did she give you a ring? No, she just came and we, we went out on a date, but she was too way too aggressive for me. You, well, yeah. yeah I mean, it, you didn't think about it even for a minute? No, I didn't. Huh. Because she, uh, she wanted to pay for everything, and I'm not used, used to that. Right, yeah. Yeah, so like we went out to dinner and she's like, oh no, your money's no good here. And she pulled out her credit card. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I just didn't feel The key that, to so. your heart is to just not pay for anything. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like Let we learned a lot. Care of it. Yeah, Thank I you have... for going through that with us. Uh, How'd you figure out all these stories? I don't, I don't know. We just have people who are just You're learning good. about you all 24 hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. Uh, it is true, you are having a concert October 2nd uh, for the Boys and Girls Club for uh, underprivileged kids. It's called The Event. It's at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. It's a fantastic lineup uh, led by a fantastic man, Shaquille O'Neal, everybody. Thanks, Jack. We'll be back with Amazing Peter. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.